The DGP directed that all the policemen on leave should return to duty immediately and urged all top officials to be in office. The new decision comes in the wake of the twin murders that took place in Alapura within 12 hours. The new instructions are contained in a circular sent to top officials. Steps have been taken to prevent the violence from spreading to other districts and to prevent further incidents from happening in Alapura. The state has imposed restrictions on mic announcements and rallies for three days. Police have also been directed to be extra vigilant if permission is granted in any case. Maximum number of police personnel has been deployed in various parts of Alapura district. Along with vehicle inspections, there is also a proposal to tighten border checks. The circular also says that criminals should be closely monitored. Kerala's coastal Alapura district was rocked by back-to-back -back killings of two party leaders, the first belonging to the SDPI and the second to the BJP, leading to clamping of prohibitory orders by police on Sunday. Following the killing of an SDPI state secretary, a BJP leader was hacked to death subsequently in 12 hours and prohibitory order under CRPC Section 144 was imposed in the entire Alapura district on Sunday, district officials said. The chief minister said such heinous and inhumane acts of violence were dangerous to the country and that people should keep away from such groups and their hateful activities. K.S. Shan, the state secretary of the Social Democratic Party of India in Kerala, was brutally attacked on Saturday night while he was on his way back home and his party alleged the RSS was behind it. Hours later, BJP's OBC Mocha state secretary Ranjit Srinivas was hacked to death by some asylums who barged into his house on Sunday morning, police said. State Police Chief Anil Khan told the media that senior police officers were camping in the district and additional forces have been deployed in Alapura. News Desk, Kamdi Global.